There we go. That looks pretty so decent. So you're in your new place. How is it? I know. You like it? Can you see? I don't know how much you can see, but... It looks pretty cool. Yes, I do. Ginormous green screen back there. Yes, and the hard, nice hardwood floors and... Although I... The hardwood floors make for echoing, though. I know. I've got some carpets down. That. Yeah, I've got, yeah. I've got some carpets down. I'm going to do some stuff about it, but they still look nice. So, yeah, this whole house is hardwood floors, but they have like airy rugs and places. I know I didn't get. I, I'm not getting used to it because when I get out of bed in the morning, I like I was stepping down on the hardwood. Have you seen the dogs like on linoleum, and they try to stop yeah. because yeah they they think their claws are going to work, so they try and stop with the claws, and that doesn't do it. They keep. I have slipped and fallen my ass already. So the first thing I did, the first thing I was like, I'm putting a rug right here and right here. So I don't die. Bridget does it all the time. Like she's running, 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 and then she slides. So one of the first thing, you don't want that to be the first thing you do in the morning is suddenly. No, no. So, That's okay. not a good way to start. Because you're like, hey, okay, I'm awake. Holy shit! It just, you're, you're fucked up. Awake, but I'm dying. But no, yes. it's not an ideal way to start the day at all. No. Hold on, let me see if I can adjust that. There, I, I, pu I put the camera in a position where you could actually see me now, instead of being slightly off to the side and falling over and shit. And at a Michael Bay angle? Yeah. That's a Dutch angle. That's not a Michael Bay. Who, it's a Dutch angle. Does Michael Bay do Dutch angles? I don't know. Oh my god, like, every third shot is a fucking Dutch angle with him. Uh. I saw, I finally saw the trailer for the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie. <laughs> When I went to see Captain America yesterday, uh -huh. I am not a piece of shit. <laughs> you saw, how is anybody surprised by this? Like, it looks really bad. Of course it does. I mean, the turtles look pretty cool. Like, the CGI on the actual turtles looks pretty cool. It's just the movie that looks like shit. But it's Michael Bay doing TV. Of course it looks awful. And they're like genetically engineered super soldiers or something. Okay, They're not sure. like sewer turtles that radioactive goo dripped on. Yeah, because that... <sighs> but Just... dude, Captain America 2, awesome! Even if they didn't mess up my sweet baboo's face. I'm going to have to see it when I get a chance. It's really good. Speaking of things that are not really good, oh, the news this week. Oh, the news. We've got some amazing shit this week. I got to tell Well, we've got two weeks of it backed up. Yeah. So. Of, you took a week off, you slacker. You have no idea. All the shit I went through. Mother. I just moved recently. I know. I mean, I didn't move hundreds of miles, but I moved and it's a pain in the ass. Fucking couch and the fucking <laughs> everything sucked. Okay. It sucks pretty much. Let us begin. Then. Let us begin. Come on. Start. Start you fuck. There we go. Each week, Catherine goes out in the World Wide Interwebs, finds all sorts of horrible stuff, brings it back here for a little something we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And this one, our very first story this week. Crazy. I love it when they just get the fuck I'm down to it. They, they, there's no there's no prologue or anything. It's like, you know, it, it's, it's just like the opening of Day of the Dead or Dawn of the Dead. It's just, oh, yeah, that's what we got this week, only it's crazy. And naked. Like, no weird backstory about a virus gonna ride. Just zombies. Yeah, and in this case, it's it's no... We don't get anything but... Palo Alto man... Arrest... Palo Alto police arrest naked man, 18, after crime spree. And you know it's good because it's a spree. You remember those candies? Yeah, I remember the sprees, yeah. Everyone used to say the purple ones tasted like vodka. They didn't. This isn't this isn't like that at all. Oh. A naked 18-year-old man was arrested in Palo Alto on Friday after a bizarre crime spree. Those are some of my favorite words. 
in which she allegedly attacked three people. Police said the violent spree began around 8.50 when the suspect entered a home in the 1100 block of Colorado Avenue through an unlocked front door. Once inside, he allegedly charged and punched a teenage boy, then fled on foot. <laughs> so pretty much, you're sitting around, you're playing your Xbox, you're eating a pizza, you're hanging out, and a naked man runs into your house and knocks you the fuck out. <laughs> and then runs the fuck away. That's like some Monty Python shit going on there. That's a bad fucking day. <laughs> it gets better. As that was a bad fucking day. As uh, officers responded to the home, a resident in the 1000 block of Colorado Avenue called police to report that a naked man had just entered his home through an open front door and tried to attack him. The resident kicked the suspect who ran from the house till he reached the end of a cul-de-sac. At this point, at, at this person is totally naked, tries to charge the police officers to escape while swearing at them. Police said officers later learned the resident had opened his door to investigate after he heard screams and saw the suspect punching and kicking a woman in her 50s who had been walking her dog. I the second half of that quote. He well, runs into one of the officers, trips, falls, hits the asphalt. Yeah. Must have, he, uh... Yeah. Dude. He was being hand asphalt full speed naked. Probably not the best feeling. And just the icing. Uh, as he was being handcuffed, the suspect spit blood on one of the officers. That's just getting straight down to it. What happened here? <laughs> it's not really my question. <laughs> You're naked running house to house, <laughs> punching one of the people. Round one, fight. Oh, round two. How did that become your night? <laughs> I mean, I've, I've had nights where I'm pretty fucking bored. <laughs> but I just fire up Netflix. Have you ever heard that one guy in the bar who gets drunk go, Man, I kick your ass! I kick your I kick all y'all asses! Well, apparently he did. He tried. He tried to kick the world's ass one person at a time. But again, like, again I ask. Again I ask. How did they come to be naked and doing that? Yeah, that's that's the that's the, the that's the kicker. Why were pants not a necessity for this mission? Right. Why was the loadout, you know, no clothes? The first ass he kicked had to be the ass of his pants. It's just the idea he ran up to some lady walking her dog and like, oh, oh, that's that's not something you wanted to just. All of a sudden, naked people. Maybe that dog didn't decide to defend her. Because there's a low-hanging fruit, so to speak. Ah, uh, so. You know, we, we look at these and we say, what's the plan a lot? Because we, we just really don't understand what Do you the... You have a plan. You can't be a hooker forever. You have to have a plan. <laughs> no one in the audience gets that quote. No. Do you know my coworker today said she doesn't know who Sean Connery is? That broke my heart. She probably doesn't know who Christopher Lee is either. That's an incomplete life. Or Patrick Stewart. No, I feel like she'd know him. He's done stuff more recently than we all know. <sighs> okay. So this one, this person obviously did have a plan. And I will commend them for a plan. It's just not a very good one. Teen charged with setting two fires in Walmart to mask shoplifting. Hmm. Well, that's creative. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, it's it's Minneapolis woman was in charge of two counts of arson after setting two fires inside of a Blaine Walmart store early Monday morning in order to cause a diversion while shoplifting. Rachel Howard Robinson, 19, was charged with one count each of first and second degree arson. Uh, surveillance footage showed two people walking around the store pushing the cart, one of them a female who was setting the fires. Parking lot footage also clearly showed their vehicle. Robinson admitted after being read her rights that she used a lighter to start a rack of jeans on fire. Bags of bird seed were also ignited. She admitted the fires were set to create a diversion so the two suspects could escape with the stolen items. Okay. Is bird seed flammable? No, but that plastic bag it is is probably flammable. Worrying. Well, no, that would just melt. 
No, you've never burnt much plastic. Because that, that worries me. What are we feeding birds? <laughs> You're worried about the birds exploding. Fucking bombs? Like... I just... I... I... Okay. You know, Walmart's full of fucking cameras. If you're going to to because this is this is like some Ocean's Eleven shit going on, except it's Walmart. And it's a really bad diversion. Yeah, because you didn't send in Brad Pitt disguised as a doctor. You no. sent in like Pee Wee Herman jerking off. <laughs> I'm going to set some jeans on fire. They'll never catch us. Even though there's security cameras. If you're going to be making a plan, you know, at least do your homework here because. It's not even homework. Don't we pretty much assume that. Aren't we at the point where we pretty much assume that if we're in a shopping establishment, there are cameras. Yeah. They're going I mean, to find you. They going to find you. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. <laughs> oh, speaking of so dumb, you're going to get pissed on this one. And like, why not create a diversion just by knocking some shit over? And yeah. It? Yeah. You know, that's a diversion. I could think of a lot of fun things you could do at Walmart to start a diversion. You know, Flash mob. that'd probably actually work because people would be like, oh, it's going on YouTube. And you're in the back and you're like loading up TVs and shit. And, Grow the fuck out of there while everyone's doing like Gangnam style in the we, produce aisle. We hey, should, that rhymed. We should probably stop talking because we're like, I think we're setting up a plan here. Um, this next one's going to piss you off. I know because it pissed me off, and it's from Georgia, y'all. Um, cops they have they have a duty to protect and serve, and I will respect that we do have a need for police officers. Just not certain police officers. And in this case, <sighs> cops pull gun on fifth graders building tree fort. What? <laughs> I love your response. Police forced a group of fifth graders to the ground at gunpoint this week as they attempted to build a tree fort in their own neighborhood. According to 911 records, Henry County police were called after a neighbor noticed the children chopping off tree limbs, an activity she claimed was hurting the environment and creating tripping hazards. So you're being a busybody old lady and fucking with kids. Okay. Police arrived on the scene to find 11-year-old Omari Grant and his friends playing in a small patch of trees, prompting at least one officer to reportedly draw his firearm and force the boys to the ground. There is nothing in this story that makes any of this make sense. Nothing in this story. No. They didn't come at him. They're fifth graders. He's 11. Like. I can literally throw a fifth grader. Do Why it. do you know that? Because I can throw a couch. If I can throw a couch, I can throw a fifth grade. That should be the new Fox game show. If you could dodge a wrench, you could dodge a ball. If you could throw a couch, you could throw a fifth grader. Not, not are you smarter than a fifth grader, but can you throw a fifth grader? And how far? <laughs> I know. You're like, one of those, you're like one of those Velcro walls. <laughs> <laughs> Just have people. Flat. Yeah. <laughs> the Velcro wall. I should be a TV writer. I'd make so much money because the stupid shit that's on TV. Ouch, my balls. Yeah. I I just. This... I'm talking about that because I can't talk about this story. It makes me too angry. Oh, like, my God. Yeah. A couple of 11, 11 year olds building a fucking tree fort. So fine. The neighbor was complaining that they were fucking up the trees. You know what you do? You pull up in the car and go, hey, kids. You're not allowed to fuck up the tree. Yeah, knock like, the shit off. Not do the do the do the Like, really sorry. It looks like you're having a good time. Yeah. You're not allowed to fuck up the trees. Please stop doing that. 
That's how you handle that situation. You do not pull your fucking gun on a child. They're they're like four feet tall. Did he like get like PTSD on a tour in Oz or something? Because they're 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 not, they're, you know. Hey, those that lollipop kills. <laughs> fuck you. You don't even know. Oh, okay, kiwi fruit. Are you better armed than a fifth grader? <laughs> I actually did a whole article on how Glinda the Good Witch is like a giant supervillain, and they make a pretty uh, compelling game. But I wouldn't fuck with that lollipop guild. How does a police officer go through the training, the requisite training, and still think pulling a gun on kids, what could possibly go wrong? All I know is this motherfucker better be out of a job. Yeah, you don't. I'm, I think, don't you have to file an incident report every time your gun is pulled? As a Sergeant cop, I don't know if anybody knows. relatively tight lift. If it was justified, then we'll deal with it. In what way could this possibly be justified? <sighs> the story says nothing about one of those yeah. the gun on him. Yeah, it's just, yeah, they said, uh, I was thinking that, yeah, this is one of the kids, the 11-year-old. I was thinking that I don't want to be shot today, so I just listened to what they said. That kid's gonna go places. That's a smart kid. That's, that's good. He's kid. gonna go places. Thank God that's not the kid that decided to give the cops the finger, you know? But as bad as our cops can be, uh, cops in other countries, still kind of worse. I'm not, I'm not talking Canada, because the Canadian police tend to be kind of friendly for some weird reason, but Pakistan. Well, yeah. Everybody's friendly in Canada. Pakistan, not so much. Um... Okay, what is the youngest you could think of a person being capable, rationally capable, of committing a, a crime? You know, to to know it's wrong and to, what's the? I'd say maybe ten, maybe, maybe. You know, somewhere nine or ten. Pretty savvy. Now I'm going to stress that I, I'm I'm talking about ten years and not. Ten months. Nine-month-old boy accused of planning murder. Nine-month-old boy has appeared in court in Pakistan on charges of planning a murder, threatening police, and interfering in state affairs. Is this that creepy baby from the last Twilight book? No! Baby Muhammad Mosakad is one of more than 30 people facing charges after the police raid to catch suspected gas thieves in the city of Lahore. Police say the suspects tried to murder security officers by pelting them with stones. Times of Indian newspaper quotes the infant's father saying the group was protesting against electric shortage. The infant appeared in the courtroom, sitting in his father's lap and clasping a bottle. He was given bail and the case has been adjourned until April 12th. His father is among the accused. If this baby threw anything at anybody, it was for a couple reasons. One, it was his bottle and he was hungry. Yeah. Two, he had just learned the awesome if I drop things, adults pick them up. Game, yep. Which goes on forever. Yeah. Once they, they learn it. Like, they can do like two solid hours of that shit and not care. Yeah. I don't, I don't I don't think this kid's a criminal mastermind. No. I mean, maybe he will be someday. How can it... I don't know if this is like a fucking looper situation where they know that he's <laughs> going to be like the next Bond villain and they're trying to cut it off at the pass. If, I mean, it's... If In you... which case, go you guys, but I kind of doubt it. If you are a grown human being and you are in any way threatened by a baby. A baby is more or less a football with appendages. Okay? Yeah, you, you've clearly never changed a diaper. <laughs> Babies are dangerous. Okay. Well, yeah, but it's not like it's they gotta get to you. Unless someone throws one in your face, you're gonna be, you know... What was... Uh, 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 you know, that, unless that happens. But who did a horror movie parody with babies? I forget, but I seem to remember that myself. Someone did like 
a whole horror movie parody about babies and how babies are the next big monster or something. How can you, with a straight face, stand there and tell a judge, he tried to kill me? And how does this even happen? Like, is there, does he have the same name as somebody? No. They, like, they rounded them all up. That's what I'm missing from the story. Is. They, apparently, they rounded all these people up at the same time, and the, the guy was just holding his kid, so the kid got charged, too. That's some stupid shit. That is some incredibly stupid shit. They had, this child, at nine months old, had to make bail. On the other hand, he has the most badass story for the rest of his life. The only thing this child is capable of making is a boom boom. <laughs> Well, I'm sure they'll call that a biological weapon. I don't I don't I don't know that they're gonna accept that as bail. <laughs> it's gonna be like twenty, yeah. I was in jail when yeah, you know, when I was nine. Nine years, nine months. Oh yeah. I'm bad. That's that's some fucking street cred right there. <sighs> you know, when I show you our next story, you're going to be like, how is this not the last story? That's how bad these last two are. This one, it kind of gives me hope for when I reach this age, at least in terms of, you know, being active, not just in terms of what the activity is. Um, <laughs> oh my God. Yoga enthusiast, 68, busted... Bridget's favorite hippo, and I just took it from her. Aw. Yoga enthusiast, 68, busted for a public pleasure session, but not for throwing dead animal at passing car. An elderly... <laughs> an elderly yoga enthusiast is facing a federal obscenity charge after he was spotted masturbating on National Park Service property, after which he picked up a dead animal and threw it at a passing car. Bill Catchell, 68, was arrested last month after Jared Ting, a uh, United States Park Police officer, responded to a complaint about a disorderly male subject. Two female, wit two female witnesses pointed Ting in the direction of Cashel, uh, a Washington, D.C. resident who was holding a yoga pose nearby. Some said they were walking along the bike trail when Cashel, who was waving his arms and shouting odd statements, dropped his pants and began masturbating. Thereafter, the subject picked up a dead animal, ran into the northbound lane of travel, and threw the dead animal at a passing car. After fleeing the animal, Cashel returned to the trail, pointed at both women, and masturbated again. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that string of events. <laughs> I don't think anyone understands what happened. And dear I God, yeah, that's hardy. Dear God, I hope he didn't fuck the poor animal to death. What what exactly got him aroused at this point, do you think? Was it the dead animal? Was it the passing cars? Was it the free? What 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 well, was the as though it was It seems as though it was the two women. I'm more confused where the dead animal comes into the whole affair. I I don't I don't I don't I don't I don't know. I mean, I hate to say it because it takes all the funny out of this, but maybe there's some kind of dementia going on here. It's the only thing that makes this make sense to me. Yeah. Or, or he's a really big fan of the show and just really wanted to be on the bit. This is one of those where it's just like going all out for it. I can't think of any other... Look, guys, if, if you're really big fans of the bit, thank you. If you want us to mention you, just say something clever in the chat. Like, yeah. you don't have to resort to this. For example, J.M. Shearer is like, I didn't, yeah, I know about... Um, you don't have to assault cars with dead animals and masturbate in public and downward-facing dog. Yeah, I know about downward-facing dog. I didn't know about, you know, crazy spanking monkey. I think we have our title. Um... It, I think there's a pose called one, actually. <sighs> Our last one. Ladies. Those are my two explanations. Dementia or really big fan of the show. Oh, God. 
Yeah. Um, I'm I going to when you say that. I'll demonstrate, ladies. <clears throat> it always ends in something. It always ends in something strongly vaginal and not in a Maud Lebowski way. Are we ready? Okay. Um, you, I, I can kind of see where this was a desperation move, but my God, my God. Woman steals $35,000 Rolex, hides it in, yeah. Really, the headline couldn't say vagina? I guess they're they're afraid of it. They had to do that ellipsis thing. Yeah, hides it in her. Come on now. Woman was arrested after police. <laughs> this is from Vegas. Woman was arrested after police accused her of stealing a thirty-five thousand dollar Rolex and hiding the watch in her vagina. The owner, Keith, Kenneth Harold, was having drinks and enjoying the conversation with Christina Lafave uh, when the woman report reset. Damn it! Stupid thing. Screen me, it's stupid. Um, stop that. There we go. Um, Heron Lefebvre went upstairs to his suite and surveillance cameras caught the man sporting his Rolex presidential watch encrusted with jewels on his left wrist. The 66-year-old man called Wynn Security to his suite a few hours later after noticing his watch was missing. Harold accused the 25-year-old woman of stealing the watch. Lefebvre explained that she refused to perform oral sex with the man without a condom and denied stealing the watch. Eventually, Lefebvre admitted she placed the Rolex inside her vagina. An x-ray was taken of her midsection after a search warrant was approved. Prior to medical staff assisting Lefebvre with the removal of the watch. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah. They can get a search warrant for your vagina. <laughs> they can get a search warrant for your butt, too. That's some bullshit. <laughs> well, they, they, they can get, you know, they can get one for your mouth, for your stomach, for any place you can put something. They can get a search warrant. Only in this one, I have to think, all right, have you ever seen the metal bands on the old fashioned wristwatches? Those link chains that they catch that one and they catch your arm. And it's bad enough when they, cause mm -hmm. they, if there's, if there's a hair anywhere, oh, it's like worse than tweezers. Cause they're going, they're all going. But you know what? She hid that uncomfortable hunk of metal. Um. <laughs> 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 Okay, look, I, I understand. The question. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You please have that. Why did she have to put it there? Like, she had the guy down on the massage table. She probably had time to ch chuck it in her bag or something. Like, it feels unnecessary to me. And, <sighs> like, with those links and everything, like, uh, bodies, that are never. Oh. Ugh. Well, that watch is a biohazard now. Yeah, it's not thirty. It's not worth thirty-five thousand anymore. That's for damn sure. It might be worth more on a certain market. Ah! Uh -huh. You take that shit to Japan. <laughs> now you're getting another nation pissed at us. You did a whole special on Japan. All right, all right, true. Yeah, over that's, there. that's true. That's true. <laughs> I think you're not pretend you don't know about Japan, okay? Oh, okay. I think you're actively attempting to get all the nations of the world pissed at us. It's like pandemic. <laughs> but I'll never get Madagascar. They'll just close the ports. Just it uh, her biological clock was ticking. Oh. I just, you know, you would have would have just been perfect in this whole situation if at some point while the police were there saying, no, I have no idea where the watch is. <laughs> 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 
There was an episode of Will and Grace. <laughs> Minnie Driver did like a, a recurring guest role on Will and Grace for a while. And the really wealthy character, Karen, accuses her of stealing a bunch of her jewelry. So she pulls jewelry out of her bra and, you know, out of her purse and everything. And, and then the lady says, all of it. And she kind of opens her legs and contorts a bit and a necklace falls out. <laughs> a diamond necklace. This just, it, look, I understand something. So torn for your vagina. Yeah. Something went on in that suite, obviously, that it was a consenting adult yeah. sort of deal. Except one of them stopped consenting. That's cool. You can just say, uh, yep, done. The stealing the shit. Not only was that not a classy move, but how was it even less that? How obscenely conspicuously wealthy do you have to be to spend $35,000 on a watch? Pretty fucking wealthy, I think. I used to make that in a year. Seriously? I don't even make that in a year anymore, but I used to. And this motherfucker was wearing it as a watch. <clears throat> so, I guess the first thing we learned is, yet again, not a pocket. No. Not it a storage, not. not a bag of holding. It is not a reciprocal. No. It has some very specific uses, and one of them is not Tupperware. Mm-mm. That is not somewhere you want tetanus. Oh, God damn. Oh. Yeah, metal. Gotta wonder if her shots are up to date. Ah. Uh, uh. We learned that even older folks could be a bit spry, if not all sane. Y yeah. I mean... It, spry and weirdly angry at passing traffic. Oh! I just like, I got that guy, that guy in Miller's Crossing just going, Oh! Only said of that, it's an old man throwing... You know, raccoons at cars and jerk while he's jerking oh. off. Oh, oh! You lagged really horribly. Huh? You lagged really horribly right when you started doing the O face. <laughs> like, where the fuck is that? What is going on? And it was really scary. We learned this week that if you are an officer of the law and you feel the need to either incarcerate or point your weapon at children. You are what the in, fuck was that? Two stories. You are in the wrong business. Leave those kids alone. Yeah, because just... Gun not... Wrong business. Wrong... Just, no. Necessary. No. Just, no. 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 Bad cop. No donut. <laughs> Oh, uh, we learned this week that, yes, having a plan can be a good thing. But it's got to be a good plan. It's got to be a good plan. It can't be the Trogdor the Burninator plan. No, it, it, it wasn't like, you know, you weren't like mapping out every single detail that's going on, obviously. It's just like, mm -hmm. I'm going to set some shit on fire and run. Like, phase one, fire. Phase two, Phase three, profit. <laughs> no, no, not a great plan. And finally tonight, I guess our first story is keep watch at all times for naked men. I mean, that's just how I live. <laughs> Be on your guard. Naked that's men. Could that's just the reality of my day to day. OK, you don't even know. Naked. You don't even know what it's like out there. Naked men could be coming for you at any time. They could be coming to your house, or your house, or even your house. Anytime. <laughs> Naked men jump on my windshield while I'm trying to drive on the highway. You got to turn on the wipers and just sweep them <laughs> You got to get through your day, you know? Oh, God damn it. I don't understand. Just... If I was sitting up, you know, I'm halfway expecting, as I'm saying this, sitting here doing this, I'm expecting a naked guy to run up the stairs and punch me in the face right yeah. here on the show. 
I'm not even going to lie. That would kind of be the best shit ever. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks I mean, a bunch. You're my friend and I like you, but that would kind of be the best shit ever. Thanks. Tons. If like a naked dude just showed up and, and bapped you on, that would be pretty great. <laughs> Think about how many views this video would get if that happened. Yeah, but it gets so banned from streaming services, though. They don't like dicks. Well, yeah. You'd have to move the show to chat roulette. 